Hey, I'm Bob. Been totally blind since birth, and I'm into Dragon Ball Z and video games. So we're going to be vlogging about those two today, more specifically Dragon Ball Fighters. So when this thing was coming out in 2018, when trailers started to be released in 2017, that's when I was just getting into the Dragon Ball franchise. That's when I had uh, bought Tenkaichi 3 on eBay, played it on my PS2. Um, that made me want to start watching the show, and of course it made me want to try Fighters because you know this was a game for newer consoles. From what I heard, you know we were going to get anime style scenes that looked like they'd been ripped directly from the cartoon itself. We were going to get accurate supers and and out of this world dramatic finishers, and boy, they weren't lying. I think Fighters did extremely well and I couldn't be more proud of what we have gotten and of course we got quite a lot of DLC uh, for the game and I, I like the way you are able to kind of have that boss feel with some of the bad guys like when you play as Super Baby 2 and you're able to transform into a great ape or a golden great ape for one of his supers uh, you, you do have that uh, kind of BT3 or Tenkaichi 3 feel to uh, to it. You know, it feels like you're you're playing one of those old games in a way. I like how some of these characters have that boss kind of feel. Uh, it's cool to be able to play as uh, Cell and Frieza. Uh, they're two of my all-time favorite antagonists from the show. And let's see, the dramatic finishes. It, it's kind of hard to pull those off, but man, when when you're able to, is it ever rewarding? I I enjoy all of the nods uh, to the anime and some new dramatic finishes, you know, some of the what ifs that uh, we, we have never seen before. Uh, I'm thinking, of course, of the dramatic finish where Yamcha is able to throw a Cyberman at Nappa and he eats one pretty much. And that's, uh, that's one of my favorites, I think. Some of the things, yeah, that I liked about the game were the supers. I love how accurate the sound effects are. You know, they, they are directly from the show. Um, I play with the English dub on because, I mean, that's, that's kind of how I I have to listen to it. And uh, I really, I like that all of the, uh, the voice actors uh, are working on this game. Sounds like, you know, the Funimation dub. I mean, that's how I started watching the, the franchise. So, and I do... Sometimes I'll turn on the the Japanese uh, voices too because you gotta you gotta respect the originality of that you know uh, where where the show came from and I mean I wish I I had time to learn Japanese because I would really like to listen to the show uh, in in the original you know Japanese language as well I think it's um, a very beautiful language and I've always liked listening to it. I don't understand it, but maybe one of these days I'll see about trying to learn it in Braille. And I don't know. Anywho, uh, according to the um, sales charts and all of that, I mean, Fighters has just killed it in terms of sales. So what do I want to see in a sequel? I want to see a larger roster. Uh, I want to see more forms for more characters than just Goku. I mean, yes, I know Goku is the main protagonist and uh, he he does take priority, but when when you when you play a Dragon Ball video game and when you're playing as a bad guy, you want that villain to have more than just two supers. I mean, Cell only had two. He had his his uh barrier and his solar Kamehameha. And those are okay, but um I, I want him to feel more powerful than he did. Um I don't know if we'll ever see this, but giant characters would be fun in uh, in fighters. And if you don't want to use them in the tournament, then just, you know, don't make them playable in tournament. Nobody will use them in tournaments if you don't want them to. Um, I think, you know, characters like Vegeta Scouter and other characters who can turn into great apes, they should be able to do so, at least in their supers. Uh, we, we did get one for Super Baby 2 in the first fighters. So maybe if uh, Vegeta Scouter makes a return in, in the sequel, uh, he could go great ape for one of his supers as well. Because that's a pretty big moment uh, during that first fight there. That one of the first fights of the show where we see Vegeta go all great ape. And that's one of my favorite battles. 
Um, let's see. I want to see all versions of Android 21 playable in the sequel. Uh, even though, even if they're not in the story mode, uh, it would be cool to play as Android 21 neutral. That we, you know, the character we got. It would be cool to play as her in her good persona, and it would be cool to play as her as cell absorbed. And you know, you could have different move sets for each character. Uh, for an original character, we only got one form for her, and there have been videos on YouTube uh, showcasing different sets of dialogue that were created for her in versus mode for her in her good persona and her cell absorbed persona. So I don't know if they were available or they were going to be available at one time, but then they just kind of scrapped the idea. Yeah, I'd like that. She's a she's an interesting character. Uh, what characters would I want to see in the sequel? I'm thinking, always thinking of bad guys. So Super Boo would be cool in more than one of his forms. Uh, of course, Sal in more than just his uh, his perfect form. Same goes for Frieza. Zarbon would be fun for his uh, you know his human and his transformed state. Um, let's see, who else? A couple of original bad guys would be fun. I don't know. Um, Let's see. Omega Shinron would be kind of cool. He was a, he's a pretty cool GT character. And, you know, he's a giant character as well, so he'd be fun to uh, to play with. You know, we, we got Sentinel in Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and 3, so, I mean, you know, you could still use your giant characters and just have them go down like any other character would. You don't have to make them super powerful and one-hit kills you or anything like that. You know, we've seen over-the-top giant characters before in fighting games. I, I don't think that would be impossible to do for um, Fighters 2 or the updated Fighters or whatever. More stages would be nice in the sequel. We, we only have a handful in the first one uh, and different stage transitions too. Like, you know, if you're in West City and if you're going to get trans or if you're going to get trounced and sent to another stage, maybe a car could plow into you and you could go flying into something, you know, more, more to do with the environment instead of just, you know, you go flying through a building and here you are in another stage or you're just flying into a mountain. You know, you could do different things with the environment in the, in the second game, maybe dramatic stage finishers. I don't know what those would look like. Um, I don't know if we've ever seen that in Dragon Ball. Uh, speaking of dramatic finishers, more dramatic finishers involving our bad guys. I'm thinking of Cell's Time to Die. Uh, when he was in one of his perfect forms, he just kind of slaps Vegeta down to the ground and blasts him with a, with a finger beam. Something along the lines of that. A couple more dramatic finishers for Frieza. Uh, guys like Super Baby 2. Maybe you could give some unique Android 21 dramatic finishers to to her as well you know i mean it's cool that you give goku and uh, a couple other good guys dramatic finishers but think of think of the villains too won't someone please think of the villains um so i guess that's about it when it comes to what i want in sequel you know something something more over the top something with a a larger roster more bad guys um more stages what we got in the first game, but a heck of a lot more of it in the sequel. Um, more of everything would be nice. Like I said, love the first game. I still play it to this day, but can't wait for the sequel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will hear you guys in the next one. Have a great day.